Welcome back, collectors. Here is 28.3 grams of sugar. That, of course, is the weight of the sugar and the container. This equates to one ounce. Here is a one ounce American Silver Eagle. It weighs 31.1 grams. That is approximately 10% heavier than the sugar. Why is that? Well, it's because precious metals are weighed in troy ounces that are defined as 31.1 grams to the ounce. Everything else is weighed in avoir du poids ounces. I'll just call them regular ounces for the rest of this video. A regular ounce contains 28.35 grams. So just remember, sugar and silver. Something else to keep in mind? A regular pound contains 16 ounces, but a troy pound contains only 12 troy ounces. That is why you see precious metals sold by the kilo are 1,000 grams instead of pounds. Now, why do we do this? The origin of this special weight can be traced all the way back to the Romans. It was reinforced during the Middle Ages in Europe and refined more and adopted by the British government in the early 19th century. The short answer? We really don't know for sure how it started, but it is the way we conduct precious metals business today. Hope this has answered some of your questions. And as always, I would be interested to read your comments. And thanks for stopping by.